One of the most common questions I get is what power source are you using in the field? And I finally have a great answer for you. Now, obviously I plug into household AC power when I'm shooting from home, but what about when I'm traveling to a dark sky site? There's a good chance that if you are an amateur astrophotographer, at some point you will need to invest in a quality, reliable battery pack. Visual observers sometimes need a portable battery pack for a go-to computerized telescope mount or maybe a few dew heaters. But astrophotographers, we need to power anywhere from three to 17 devices. And if even one of them fails, you can kiss your picture goodbye. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview and share my real world experiences using Anchor's new 757 portable power station. This video was sponsored by Anchor and they asked that I provide an astrophotographer's perspective to their new portable power station. So thank you to the Anchor team for noticing our not so niche anymore hobby. To me, the most important feature of a portable power source for astrophotography is reliability. It also has to have enough power to run my rig for two or three nights and have spots for everything I need to connect to it, from my USB dew heater bands to my laptop charger. If the battery isn't up to the task of providing a constant source of power to my rig for an entire night without interruption, it's useless to me. Even a brief outage means that I lose the connection to my telescope mount, my auto guiding goes nuts, and I squander a precious clear night. I'm serious, I would rather run a 200 foot extension cord than risk a battery that flickers in and out. I've had this happen before and it's absolutely infuriating. The good news is a lot of the astrophotography gear we use does not consume a lot of power, with a few exceptions of course. And this power station has enough juice to power a seriously decked out astrophotography rig for two straight nights. Okay, before I get too ahead of myself, let me show you what this hefty little box can do. This is Anchor's flagship power station and it was built for durability and long lasting power. The most important feature of this Anchor 757 power station is the premium LFP batteries inside. Without reading out the spec sheet on these batteries, which you can do yourself, the bottom line is that these batteries last up to six times longer than the industry average. It charges insanely quickly too, from 0% to 80 in just an hour. You know what this means? If you're at a star party and you run out of power, you can run over to the visitor center and borrow some power for about an hour and you can go inside and have a baby wipe shower while you wait. It's pretty heavy but these integrated handles make it easier to pick up. Ash can you come here for a sec? You can pick this up right? It's lift, pretty. Lift with the knees. <laughs> there you go. Yeah you gotta lift with the lift knees. Lift with the knees. How heavy would you say that is? Almost 50 pounds. That heavy eh? I think so. Yeah I th I'd say it's like 40. Probably 40. 45, split the difference. He's fighting the <laughs> Ready? 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 Here we go. Ready? Obviously, keeping the weight down of your portable setup is important, but a power station that's too light is not a good sign. This power station can power a laptop, a PC, a microwave, a mini fridge. This one's my favorite. An 85 inch TV. Yep, that should do it. And it does it all in this slick little package made with an automotive grade aluminum frame. It's vibration and temperature resistant. And here's an important one, it's silent. I'm guessing your neighbors, whether in the city or while camping, wouldn't appreciate a noisy cooling fan in your power station. This one is so quiet, you wouldn't even know if it's on. Wait, is it on? The Anchor 757 power station has enough ports to power everything you could possibly need for your deep sky astrophotography rig. There's a car socket DC port, which you may want to use for your computerized telescope mount. Personally, I still use a DC plug for my Skywatcher EQ6, so it's nice to see that there. The rest of my gear goes on the AC outputs of the power station, and there are six of them. Yeah, six. This is where I'll plug in the power supply for my ASI Air 
spare and I'll have five outlets to spare. The USB ports are perfect for my dew heater bands. There are four USB-A ports and two USB-C. These ports are also great to keep my phone or tablet topped up while imaging. I know a lot of you are running the ASI Air with multiple tablets, so you could keep six of them fully charged with this power station. Aside from my astrophotography rig, we use the power station to keep our phones and camera batteries charged. This morning, we even used it to run our toaster when our camper lost power after the storm. It's just really nice to have a backup power source when traveling. Those of you with laptops, cooled astro cameras, and autofocusers and more will have plenty of power to play with for at least two nights. So it's a battery. The length of use you'll get depends on how much power you're using in your specific scenario. After powering this monster rig with a heavy duty mount, a cooled astro camera and dew control, I had about 45% power left when I woke up the next morning. So you can use that as a benchmark. If you have an opportunity to charge the power station for an hour before your next imaging session, you should definitely do it. Two nights with a setup like this is pushing it. As you can see here, I'm running a very complete deep sky imaging setup with a lot of bells and whistles. Everything here is powered by the 757 power station. So basically, if you're away from home and you're at a campsite or a star party, you're only ever an additional 44 pounds away from having all the power you'll ever need. The integrated light bar on the Anchor 757 power station is handy to have when you're off grid if you need to kind of look around. I'm happy to see they, they went with a warmer color temperature and that it's soft. A lot of the lights you'll find on these portable power banks use the blinding white LED lights. This is not one of them. This is kind of like the campfire warm glow. However, I wish there was a standalone red light option to protect your night vision even better. The display screen on the 757 is fantastic. Big digits right in your face of how much juice you have left. I wish that clicking the display button for a second time turned the screen off, but that's not the case. You have to wait until it times out. I appreciate all of the indicators on the display screen, including the current output power, the recharge time, and the high and low temperature alerts when it calls for it. Speaking of temperature, the manual says that the battery pack should be used between 32 and 100 Fahrenheit or zero to 40 degrees Celsius. This definitely puts a limit on the times of year that you can use the power station and it's something to consider. Luckily, most of my astro trips happen during new moon weekends in the summer. So for those deadly, bitterly cold nights in the winter, I'll have to stay plugged in at home. It's been long overdue for me to talk about portable power for astrophotography on this channel. So when Anchor reached out asking if I would test out their new flagship power station, I was stoked. The heavy plastic box booster power boxes I've used for astrophotography in the past that I purchased from the hardware store were a huge letdown. And I mean that literally, they let me down multiple times. So much so that I pretty much gave up on relying on a portable power pack for my astrophotography. I also know that a lot of you have built your own Frankenstein creation for power out in the field, consisting of a marine battery, a Coleman cooler, and some questionable wiring. I get it, if you know what you're doing and that kind of thing is in your wheelhouse, by all means, let those sparks fly. For me, the second I see those jumper cable clamps, I'm out. A clean, ready to go solution like this just makes sense for me, and maybe it does for you too. It's still very new, but I'll continue using the Anchor 757 power station on my upcoming astrophotography camping adventures. If you're looking for a reliable, portable power station for your astrophotography, I hope that this video was useful to you and that you'll consider an option like this. It wouldn't be an Astro Backyard video without an image reveal at the end, so I'll share the image I capture with this Anchor powered rig behind me at the end of the video. Thanks again to Anchor for sponsoring and sending me this cool battery, and until next time, peace.